guys welcome back to the channel and back to a another video i mean i kind of start this video kind of late so i'm gonna basically explain what just happened so basically this was a stock grill that was on the car i'm gonna show you guys how to remove the stock grill and we already installed the paramericana style grill the first thing that my installer did was which is omar he removed this plate so it's a few screws that hold these plates. These are the screws, like two on this, two on this side and two on the other side, and a few clips that hold the plate together. All right. And then the next step, you're gonna turn the wheel opposite direction and go underneath here and remove some clips too as well. And then you pull out the bumper forward. On this side, it's the same thing too. There are clips under here. These are the clips and the screw. Just remove them and then you pull this out. You pull the bumper forward, it will fall. Then you go to the back and then you release the tabs from the back and that's how the grill comes out. Okay, so that's basically how you remove this grill. As you can see, the grill is already out and then we're gonna install the emblem. I'm not 100% sure if this emblem will work because of the this tronic right here so we're going to see and test the this tronic and see if it works if it doesn't work then we'll have to use back the stock emblem all right so we're just going to put everything back together then we're going to go ahead and do the test Okay, so now he's on the other side. Okay, so now he's gonna reinstall the emblem. So, as you guys can see, the emblem is installed. And to remove it, you turn the opposite direction. All right, so everything is complete. And we also did an addition of a lowering spreader at the front. So now I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Alright guys, so comment down below and tell me what you think. It definitely makes the front look super aggressive. I will try and leave all the information for the low end lip and also for the grill down in the description box below if you want to purchase it for your MLC23 AMG. Alright guys, so... With that being said, this concludes the installation. All right, so I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.
hey guys so this is going to be a short fyi video public service announcement so as you guys can see my pre-safety collision um system is not available because of the emblem that came with the grill i installed for some reason it's not it doesn't work well with the distronic plus system so i have to go back to the stock emblem that comes with the car it's a bummer because i actually like the new emblem because i guess because it's brand new and looks much better but um yeah whatever material that they use to make it i guess it's not uh, it doesn't work well with the distraction plus i don't know what kind of magic mercedes does to make their plastic work but you know it works for them but um yeah so i have to go back to the stock emblem unfortunately so if you're gonna buy this grill as a reminder guys the emblem will not work so you have to go back to the stock emblem but the grill fits though the grill fits but the emblem won't work all right thank you